have in front of me here a four-way Dysex switch from Smart Electronic that's available on the TVTrade.ie website. Basically, if you if it, it's made up of an outer a weatherproof casing, which you can see here, and then inside the Dysex switch itself. So if we just look at the Dysex switch itself, what we can see is um, the basic purpose of this is to allow you to connect up to four different LMBs pointed at four different uh, satellites into a single feed to feed a satellite receiver. So you can see LMB one, two, three, and four, and a single output here, and it, using all F-type connectors. And a cable would run from here and run into a DISIC enabled satellite receiver, such as the one we, we say have here. And when I say it's DISIC enabled, the important point there is that we have DISIC switching on it, so it can switch between the different satellites and know which one it should be looking at to pull in the signal next. So let's look at how we'd implement this. I have behind me here an 80 centimeter satellite dish, which this one here is set up just with two LMBs. Now the fact there's four LMB or, uh, inputs on the, on the four-way dice doesn't mean we need to use four-way, it just means that's the maximum capacity. So we could use something like a four-way on a job like this. Now normally we'd say in a simple setup, what we'll be doing is we'll be running a single cable in from what each of these LMBs uh, to a satellite receiver, but it, it's even better then if you combine them together into a single feed uh, such as using the Dysex switch. So if you looked here on this picture setup, this LMB here would be aligned, we'll say, for the Sarasat, the Irish channels, at 9 degrees east, and this LMB here would be aligned for 28 degrees east, uh, which would be uh, Astro 2 for the Freesat channels, okay? Now we could come along, we'll say, and use a different type of LMB holder, such as this three-way LMB holder here, still in its packet, and what this could be done is, we could use this, we'll say, for picking up um, let's say satellite receivers such as we'll say uh, Astro 1, Astro 2 and Hotbird and feeding them in here and then a single feed feeding down. So let's just come over here we'll say and I'll just compare we'll say we have this four-way LMB, uh, four-way Dysic uh, switch here but we have a two-way one here and what we have on it is effectively um, a feed from uh, the SARESAT, a feed from the FreeSAT satellite, and then a single feed coming out of it. And we could replicate that immediately over here with this four-way one. And this cable just runs around and runs into the satellite receiver here. And if we pick up the remote control to see how this would work, if we come along and press the OK button, we see we're on RT1 and we're picking this up off of the SARESAT satellite. But if we move up an arrow position here, and we'll say we've got the more four here, now we're onto the Astro 2 satellite, and now we can see we're looking at more form, okay? Now the significance there is that you saw how, how seamlessly we flick from one to the other. So it just makes it really, really convenient. And for the end user, he mightn't even be aware of the, of the Dysec technology that's been used on it. Now if we look at alternatives to the four-way, um, we can look at something, a simpler version, which is a two-way here, which would probably be the most popular that would sell, um, simply because you know it's more com common to be combining just two satellites. But the four-way still has its place. Um, you know, and if you're bought four-way as well, it allows you to future-proof for additional satellites you may add on. Now the alternative to that, again, simpler again, would be to use something like this manual switch here, where you'd simply come along, you feed in a satellite here, a satellite here, and a single cable out. And when you go to flick from one to the other, you just use these switches here. Now, that saves having to program it up in conjunction with the Dysex switch, or if you had an old type of box that didn't have a Dysex switch on it, you could use a manual setup like that. Uh, like a very complicated alternative to this would be something like using an extremely complicated, um, uh, we'll say, motorized system where you're simply moving the dish around uh, and pointing at different things. But obviously, that's a very expensive and, and quite technically difficult. So this is, you know, quite a successful product. Um, it's very reliable, and we sell them in quite large volumes on TVTrade.ie. So that's it. Anyway, an overview of the four-way Dysex switch from Smart Electronics, available on TVTrade.ie.